Hi guys, Dane here, and to welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 25 to 11 on uh, Sunday the 10th of April. I'm currently reading The Winds of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I've had a bit of an anxious day today because there's bleach all over my house and it's just been, been making me feel ill from like the smell of it. But it is what it is. Um, I'm going to the, the dentist tomorrow to get a root canal, so I'm a little bit anxious about that. But overall, I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, and I currently only have five books currently reading as well, which is like a new record low. So that's where I'm at. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is currently 20 to 11 on wet Tuesday the 12th of April. Uh, I still have a bit of a toothache from the dentist yesterday, but I did survive it, so that's good. I had a panic attack during it though, so that was no fun. Um, and kind of there with like my mouth held open and then working on my teeth and I'm just there with the shakes and horrible feeling in my stomach and stuff but you just had to lie there and get through it so I was sitting there repeating uh, the fear is the mind killer the the fear litany litany against fear from June I must not fear fear is the mind killer fear is the little death that brings total oblivion I will face my fear I will permit it to pass over and wash through me and when it has passed I will turn my inner eye to follow its path where the fear is gone there will be nothing only I will remain and I probably did that for about an hour, so I must have got through a couple hundred reps of that. But it got me through. Um, and yeah, then I came back, I bought some nice food, and I've just been being productive. Most of my housework is doing, I've pretty much cleaned the bathroom as well. Uh, it's still not working though, so I still have to bathe in my portable bath in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, so I, I've, I've reached out to somebody for a quote and they didn't get back to me so I need to reach out to the next person. A lot of companies are basically saying it's so difficult to do that they just have no interest in doing the work. Which obviously isn't ideal but I've just got to keep going until I get somebody who can do it. Got some new plans today so I did a little bit out in the garden too. I found out when my granddad's funeral is going to be so it's going to be May the 4th. Uh, Wednesday May the 4th so I'll have to go to Tamworth for that. I've also got... Um, Agreed to do uh, like a writing workshop in Birmingham in June. I'm actually going to be away quite a lot of May. Sorry, Biggie, because I've got I've got my granddad's funeral. Then the week after that, me and my mum are going on holiday. Uh, a couple of weeks after that, my mum and my granddad are coming to visit me. Um, and then, yeah, in June I've got this thing. So. But yeah, I have nothing left in the calendar for the rest of April now, so I can take it relatively easy. My friend Sabrina's away in Bournemouth at the moment, so she's not uh, going to be popping around, which basically means I'll just sit here. I mean, she's the last person I saw, and I saw her not the last weekend, the weekend before. So basically, she's the only person I see now, and the rest of the time I live like a hermit and just stay at home working. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I finished reading The Winds of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Um, like a week, 3.5 out of 5. It was just okay. I'm just not really that interested in Paul Atreides, to be honest. But a full review of that will be coming soon. And I'm now reading The Magic Cottage by James Herbert, because some James Herbert books arrived in the post. I also got some Jasper Carrot comedy vinyl uh, records, and also three John Lennon records. So I'll listen to those sometime soon as well. And yeah, I'm just doing a bit of filming now before it hits midnight because midnight is my cutoff point after which it's too late to record because I don't want to annoy my neighbours. So I'm doing my filming now. I'll do a little bit of editing in a bit. And that's about it. Radio show went out today. I did a highlight show. I've got an interview tomorrow and actually I've got a man coming around tomorrow uh, to look at the boiler because it keeps making this really annoying <laughs> sound. So I've got a video clip of it on my phone or at least I should have. Hopefully I still have that. Let's have a look. Because there is a possibility that I foolishly deleted it. I think I have foolishly deleted it. So I need to take another video so that I can show this guy what it sounds like. Um, but yeah. Hello, it is me. It is currently about half past nine on Saturday the 16th of April. Um, it's a bank holiday but I'm still working. So Friday and Monday are non-working days here in the UK. But because I'm me, I'm still working Friday and Monday and over the weekend. Um, my infection is getting a little better. I don't think I've filmed for a few days because basically after I had that root canal then I had an infection come up in the part of my face there. So I'm now on antibiotics. Um, on Wednesday or th yeah Wednesday night I just couldn't sleep all night because the pain was that bad. Um, and then got in for an emergency appointment on Thursday where the guy, he also filed down my tooth because he said it had been the filling they put in it, the temporary filling was too big and it was causing it to rub against my bottom teeth. Um, and yeah, they gave me some antibiotics as well and then I came back and like basically passed out. 
So I've now been on the antibiotics for like two and a half days um, and it is starting to clear up. I feel like absolute shit. Um, I'm very anxious tonight for whatever reason. I'm a bit shaky and my stomach feels weird. Um, I did make some nice food um, and I had a bath in my kitchen again because it's the only way I can clean myself. So I did that earlier. Um, I finished reading that James Herbert book, which I can't seem to spot. Uh, it's down there. Um, the Magic Cottage. It's like a 3.5 out of 5. It was just a fairly generic haunted house story, but it was okay. And I'm now reading Sisterhood of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I'm getting towards the end of this now. This is book one in the final uh, Schools of June. Yeah, Schools of June trilogy. So there are three books in that, so two more after this. And then I've only got one other, which is The Road to June, which is like a cross between a biography of Frank Herbert and like, it's called The Silmarillion of the June World. Um, and it's also got an unpublished novella in there as well, I think. So I'm just gonna finish those off. I got these two books in the post today. The next Wizard of Oz book, The Royal Book of Oz, which is written by Ruth Plumley something. Ruth. Ruth. Ruthie babes, where's your name? Ruth Plumley Thompson, because uh, Frank Herbert, uh, sorry, um, L. Frank Baum had died by that point. I also got sent uh, Emma Timpany, Three Roads and Other Stories, which is a short story collection, so I'll be picking up those soon. I've been making some progress on my Richard Dawkins book, which I can't remember. Which, oh, it's The Extended Phenotype. I'm reading that as my bedtime book. Um, I haven't done any of my audio books. I listened to that while jogging, but because my teeth have been bad, I haven't been doing any jogging because um, it hurts to walk. It actually hurts to talk. So uh, I did have two one hour phone calls today. Luckily I've got tomorrow off and then I'm back to it on Monday again. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of rough. And I'm just being productive, trying to make some money so I can pay for my bathroom. I've made no steps towards actually getting my back to the bathroom fixed. I've contacted like five companies and none of them have got back to me. Um, basically, well, some some in the past had said what needed doing but that they wouldn't do it because it's just too much of a job basically people are intimidated by how difficult it's going to be and are just saying that they'd rather not do it and it's like great but i need somebody to do it because otherwise i can't use my shower or toilet i'm using a camping toilet and having baths in my kitchen i don't want to keep doing that indefinitely um, we've had really nice weather here in the uk as well but i didn't get outside today because i slept in had some really weird dreams because of the uh, antibiotics um, yeah and then slept and did this call and yeah that's where I'm at I'm currently watching Freddy Got Fingered because I used to love that film when I was younger so I'm watching that to try and cheer myself up I've listened to some records today as well so that's where we're at and I'll update you again tomorrow oh I almost forgot the other exciting news which is that I designed a new logo for my band The Ilk um, here's Biggie so I designed that yesterday and I've spent a bunch of money getting 15 t-shirts, a hoodie for myself, um, some badges and some branded guitar picks all, all made with the logo on. So they're all on their way and should arrive at some point in May. Very exciting. You're doing a cleanies, Biggie. Keep going then. Keep going. All right, I'll catch up with you later. Hello everybody, it, what was that on my face? Just some dry skin, I think, lovely. It is currently just about 9 p.m. on Sunday the 17th of April. I realized today I haven't seen anybody I, I know and hang out with for two weeks, um, so I should probably go to an event or something soon. But really, I'm not really in the mood for it because I just feel so crap because of my teeth. Um, and also it's like, it's hard to, for me to get clean by having baths in the kitchen, I'm doing my best. But I really need to get that fixed and everybody's been closed over the, the Easter weekend so um, I'm hoping that I can reach out to some people on Tuesday after the bank holiday and finally get somebody in to, to fix my um, bathroom. I'm going to get some quotes for the fences as well because the neighbour who's supposed to be sorting it has been taking his, 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 fair, his fair amount of time. I've been watching Death Note because of my new tattoo. There you go, I'll show you. There he is. And so I've got an L tattoo. So I've watched Death Note 1 and I'm watching Death Note 2. These are the Japanese movies. I have the series of the anime to watch as well, which I've never seen before. So I'm going to watch that soon. I also started watching something on Netflix called Countdown about an app that tells you when you're going to die. Um, so I watched, because I, I did a little bit of work outside, so I was watching that on my phone. So I'm going to finish watching that in a little bit. Just doing a little bit of filming and editing. I did a fair amount yesterday as well, so that was good. Um, 
and yeah later on I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a Facebook page for this client that I work with so I'm going to film that in a bit as well I've been reading some more I'm really near the end now of Sisterhood of June I don't know where I'll put it now oh it's down here I've got about 50 pages to go something like that so uh, here we go that's how far in I am um, so I'll be doing a review of that soon I am about 60 odd pages into the Richard Dawkins book that's name I forgot oh the extended phenotype I'm about 60 pages into that as my bedtime read it's all right it is like designed to be read by academics really so you know it's kind of hard going but it is what it is and I'm cracking on with that and that's really all I've got for you and as it's Sunday it seems like a good place to end this week's reading blog so as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye